guys, it's Becca the Bargainer and I'm back with more of my teapots. I have the rest of my teapots back there. I just put up a video about my top 10 teapots, so definitely check it out if you haven't already. But uh, some of you were interested in seeing the rest of my collection, so I thought I would share it with you one teapot at a time. And I have actually 15 teapots back here, so I'm going to jump right in. Some of them I just recently purchased uh, and actually were given as gifts, so I'm going to just show you the big ones first and then we'll do the one cup pots. Today as I show you the teapots I'm going to show you them in order of my favorites. I guess it doesn't really matter too much but <laughs> this one is one that I picked up at a thrift store um, and like I said in my previous video I only pay five dollars and under so I don't remember how much I paid for this but it is um, a, from J Japan and it's Harmony House Japan teapot and I just think it's beautiful I love this kind of teapot this is mainly for coffee or if you wanted to serve some kind of cappuccino or something like that it's more of a coffee pot um, not so much for tea for percolating tea but you can use it for that so the next one hmm which one should I choose <laughs> These are my favorite ones. The, anything blue is my favorite because I love blue in my kitchen. So sometimes I will just take this out and put flowers in it, put it on my counter, or I will just have this with my tea. I, I really love this pot. It's one of, this is one of my favorite pots. I'm surprised I didn't have it in my top 10, but couldn't have them all in there, right? Um, but anyway, this is one of my favorite ones. It's so simple and beautiful. Um, it was made in China, the Design Pack brand. The next one that I have is a brown just a, a brown teapot and on the bottom it says lanyard or lawward lawward so if any of you know about brown teapots and brands and stuff just let me know what, what that is because I've, I've tried to research it I don't know anything about this teapot but it does look a little bit like a brown Betty teapot so I do like this and it is I just think it's really pretty um, the brown teapots and um, I just love them traditional teapot so yeah, that's another one of my favorites. And like I said, I do have some teapots in my top 10 that are similar to some of these, but I have like a couple of the same kind of looking teapots. This was given to me by my pastor's wife and she actually gave me a creamer and um, sugar bowl as well to go with it. So that was really nice. So I really enjoy this one. It has a really unique top to it. And <clears throat> yeah, it's just really, really pretty. And this is Global Design Connections, Kate Williams, is was what it says on the bottom. But yeah, I just love this one. This is a pretty good size uh, teapot. I would say that's about a, maybe a six cup pot teapot. It's really pretty. I love it on um, for tea parties that are floral themed. All right, I would say the next one would have to be this clear teapot. And I have one that's similar to this in my other video, but this is the other one that I have. And I don't remember where I got this. It was just at a thrift store. There's nothing on the bottom or anything. So I don't know where it's from or anything like that. But like I said, I probably paid like three or four bucks for it. It's just really beautiful. And it's so nice to have the clear ones because you can see through it, see the leaves, uh, the tea percolating. The next one is this blue and white one. I did get this at a yard sale. It's just so pretty and unique and it has a brass handle, a metal handle. I love it. And um, yeah, it's just a really deep pot. It was handcrafted in Thailand and something unique that I don't have. I, this is the only teapot I have like this that is this shape so I thought it was really nice and I definitely wanted to add it to my collection because I love blue and white decor. got me this and this is the Le Creuset teapot so it's a teapot it's a one cup pot and it comes with a little saucer and I just think this is the most darling thing it's just so adorable perfect for just one cup of tea and yeah I just think it's really nice especially on if you're gonna bring someone breakfast in bed or whatever <laughs> I know it's kind of weird but if you're you know if you're gonna bring someone like that's sick a cup of tea or whatever it'd be nice to put on a little tray with their breakfast or whatever that'd be really nice or if you're gonna have guests and you want to bring them some tea if they're not feeling well or something in their room you could put it in this little thing and it'll it's just perfect I just love this thing and I just love that it's yellow I do my curtains in my in my dining room are yellow have yellow in them so that's one of my favorite things. the next teapot is this little blue one it's very similar to the bigger one but just so you can see the difference in size 
yeah, I just, if there's a blue teapot to be had, um, unfortunately I feel like I have to have it and collect it. So <laughs> blue teapots beware. <laughs> no, I, this is a really cute little pot and it's a two cup pot. Um, so yeah, it's just perfect for in the morning when you want to have a little cup of tea, you can have a two cup pot of tea. And all the different teapots have different amounts in them, you know. But yeah, this would be a two cup teapot and it's just really pretty. I love the look of it. It's just simple and beautiful. The next teapot is this little blue and white one. I just think this is darling. It doesn't have anything written on the bottom or anything. But I did get this at a thrift store. And the other, that little blue one I got at a thrift store as well. And yeah, these are just adorable. Two cup pots. You can get two little teacup pots full. This is probably one mug full of... Um, tea if you were going to do it that way. But yeah, this is one of my favorite ones. I just love the blue and white pattern. All right, the next one is a yellow teapot and it's the same size as the blue teapot, but it's yellow and I did get this for $1 at a thrift store. I'm sorry, at a yard sale. This was uh this is the Price and Kensington brand. It's made in China, but it's purchased in England or it's from England. Price in Kensington, yeah. So this is a really cute teapot. I love stuff like this, just little, and it's about the same size as this one, except this is a one cup pot, because this is smaller and this is a two cup pot. So you can kind of see the difference. Can you see the difference? A one cup and a two cup. The next teapot that I have was given to me um, by my pastor and his wife. They were at a yard sale and saw this and Actually, my pastor saw it and he's like, let's get that for Rebecca. I was like, yeah. So they gave it to me and I was so excited to get it. But look how cute this one is. And it's similar to the other one, the La Crisette one I have. But the, they have two little cherries on the top and then the, a nice big cup to go underneath. And yeah, this is just adorable. It's in perfect condition. And it is Cherry Bloom for 222 Fifth. Um... Portland is the is the name of this teapot so it's really nice and just a cute little gift to give someone I, I loved it it was a nice surprise the next teapot that I have is this white teapot it's so Victorian looking it, it resembles a lot the the big white one that I have it resembles this one a, lo a little bit I just I really love these two teapots the white teapots because it goes so well with my theme the blue and white theme so yeah this is one of my favorite ones and um, it's just so beautiful and this I would say would be a two cup pot it looks a little bit larger but yeah probably a three cup pot actually because the size is a little bit bigger you see how it's a little bit bigger than this one so yeah I would say this is a three cup pot because there's a lot of room inside the teapot and the last three teapots are a set that I recently was gifted um, from a friend she was redecorating her kitchen and um, I'll have that video linked below it's a bunch of decorations that she gave me and these teapots were in that box so definitely check that out and I'm also gonna have my dining room decor video up um, blue and white decor video I'll have that listed below so the last three teapots are right here there's a pink one yellow and blue so these are really cute I have three nieces so I'm probably gonna give these to them at some point we'll see they're they're young still but I think they would really like them all right, guys, that, those are all the teapots that I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And definitely check out, <laughs> definitely check out, um, <laughs> you're going to say hi? Okay, no. Um, definitely check out my other teapot videos and my tea videos. I'll have all of them listed below so you can check those out. And um, if you're interested in seeing my sauce, cups and saucers, Maybe I'll do a little video about that. If you're interested, let me know in the comments. And then also I, I might share my top 10 or top five teas that I like to drink. So yeah, let me know in the comments if you would like to see that. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day. Bye.